Hello and welcome to today's morning report. Charles Price is on Wednesday, the 1st of February, with me, Rich Perry, Market Analyst at Hantech Markets. It is Fed Day today, so the focus will switch from Donald Trump back to um, monetary policy, really. Um, Donald Trump has been sort of driving moves on markets for a while now, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's driven sort of the dollar lower, actually, because yesterday again we saw uh, Trump coming out and saying um, something that uh, has been incredibly market moving and this time he said that uh, basically the um, US the big trade pa trade big trade partners for the US uh, countries such as Germany Japan China have all been driving currency de uh, devaluation um, strategies in recent years and it sort of starts to drive the rhetoric that perhaps Donald Trump will be trying to um, pull the dollar lower uh, in the coming months and that sort of uh, certainly had the dollar back down at this 99.40 level, which was that kilo from December. Um, bounced a little bit today, but um, it's interesting that we're starting to see a bit of a dichotomy with the um, uh, with the Treasury yields. The 10-year and the 2-year both sort of had picked up in, in the last sort of few weeks, but the dollar has still been falling, and that sort of correlation, that positive correlation that had been sort of driving for so long um, seems to be sort of, at the near term, um, sort of, uh, it's starting to break down a bit, and um, if that if Donald Trump's rhetoric continues along those paths, then uh, that will continue. Now, you've got the Fed today, um, not likely to see any sort of rate hike. I think the markets will be looking for any sort of lean towards um, a March hike um, because at the moment they're not f they're not they're basically just pricing in two rate hikes this this year um, and a March certainly anything that sort of comes out hawkish and sort of suggests March is um, going to be seen as a next hike time um, will drive a stronger dollar again so the dollar will be off a monetary policy today but we've also got the um, PMIs out today and uh, now the PMIs are sort of being to announced through the day you had initially the Chinese PMIs they came in pretty, pretty much uh, supportive of where we had been recently but um, the uh, Eurozone data was strong, ticked higher and beat expectations UK was in line at 55.9 so we're now looking towards the US manufacturing uh, sorry the ISM manufacturing data 55.0 is the expectation um, and uh, that's at 3 o'clock uh, let me show you so 55.0 would be a continued improvement to back to levels that uh, we haven't seen since the beginning or well, the end of 2014. Prior to that, we've got a 115, the ADP employment report. That was pretty much called not for perils last month very uh, accurately. So uh, ADP will be watched today. That's at 115. And the oil inventories at um, 3.30, where the expectation is for a mild increase in uh, inventory build um, or oh, sorry a mild inventory build uh, whereby the um, market is sort of fa focusing on around about 3.4 million barrels of uh, crude oil stocks now the f FOMC will be the uh, main focus of the day so uh, watch out for that later at seven o'clock now you've got the silver chart which is my chart today now we've been waiting for a breakout on silver above 1720 that's a key pivot line over the last few months actually and we saw a sharp upside break yesterday on that dollar weakness um, so silver remains strong supported above 1720 so whilst that remains the case you're sort of improving the outlook look at that bull kiss on the MACD lines stochastics turning higher RSI 67 still got upside potential certainly if this is a bull break and it certainly seems to be you're above the 89 day moving average now um, so you're increasingly positive and you've sort of now broken the first key reaction key lower reaction high which was 1720 you've now sort of uh, breaking that and uh, leaving that behind you could argue this is a near term base pattern you'd, you'd sort of measure 160 ticks or, or $1.60 from uh, from there projected higher 1880 so there's not a million miles off that 19 big figure um, resistance that is the November high so it certainly seems as though the silver price will be improving and that would be in line with a, um, a weaker dollar you got the MACD lines which are all above neutral now so that's positive so it's all sort of turning a bit of a corner near term uh, and th that will be reflected in the gold chart a little bit so I'll talk about that in, a, in my analysis videos but uh, here the hourly chart you got initial support 1739 that comes in above 1720 so that's positive uh, again supportive above that MACD lines positively configured as are the hourly RSI having been negative 
below 50 and now positive above 50 so little dips are a chance to buy and um, yeah it's all looking pretty positive so um, not a great deal of resistance you could argue there's a minor resistance around um, is it 1795 1796 yeah minor resistance around that sort of level but to be honest it's not a great deal that's um, sort of in the way until the high 18 dollar area so i wish you good luck in your trading today and i'll speak to you later thank you